To make a long fucking story short, I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. Nah, 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 nah. You're in the right place. You know what you came here for by the title. You want to see the Dubai Porta Potty experience. Why? 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 You nasty, nasty, nasty individual. But we're going to watch it. Why are you crying? <laughs> Today, we are gonna watch the nasty viral video that has put a lot of things in perspective for a lot of people who were scrolling on every Instagram model's page just crying about how they are living the life that they wish they could live. And now you'll see why. These girls are taking a new meaning to sucking the fart right out of your ass. <laughs> oh my. They're willing to do whatever for a buck, but first, before we get into that, welcome to Justin's world, okay? This is the place of reactions, vlogs, and tons of other lit content. Look around, make sure you subscribe, like this video, turn on your notifications so you know anytime any mind-blowing content is dropping, because I promise you, it's always something to look at in Justin's world. Now today, like I said, man, the Dubai Porta Potty experience is going very viral all over social media, left and right. And with Elon Musk buying Twitter, it's no shortage of this Dubai Porta Potty experience. So today we'll be checking that out. But first guys, I just gotta give you a little background on this story now. This is resurfacing back in the media because now we have a video to show you a day in the life of a good goddamn Instagram model as she takes her pictures and then goes back to the old man and has to tickle that booty hole, okay? And I don't mean them tickling her booty hole. Uh, it's gonna be very different. Now, a lot of people who are, let's just say the word square. A lot of people are square. A lot of people have never experienced things that women will do for money, things that women will put themselves through for money. But good thing you're in old Justin's world, okay? Because I know a few things and more than a few ladies who will do anything for that cash. Before we get to the licking ass, uh, we're just gonna go through, and I I'm gonna just say this because I know, just like I said, man, there's a lot of individuals out there who they go to work and they go straight home, okay? They go to work and then they go and get the kids, okay? They go to work and then they see, hey man, how can I make my boss's day even greater when I get to work tomorrow? So, a lot of people just don't know about this type of lifestyle or about lifestyles that are different from theirs. But with me knowing a bunch of hosts, I have the inside scoop just for you and that's why you're here today. Now, this Dubai thing, it's not just a Dubai thing. Here in America, bitches take shits or eat shit all the time for money. It's men willing to pay for everything from you to box up your farts in a jar like Farah from Teen Mom. She's literally wiping the crack of her ass, farting, and putting it in a jar and selling it to people. So real quick, I wanted to show you how I shit in a jar and I send it to you. Oh, so cool. And you get a video of me making it for you. So I do my number and I wet my food and then I put it in here and it goes in there and then I cork it and I get saran wrap and I wrap it all up. I put a special message on it and your name. And I don't know, just sending you blessings of this year in a lucky jar. We got women selling feet pictures. Nothing wrong with a little feet there attached to your body, but there is a nasty old man ready to jack his meat to it. Huh? What you want some dick? Very disgusting, very disgusting. Not only that, we have men who are paying top dollar for you to <laughs> scratch every corner of their ass with your mouth. Jesus Christ. And that's before we get to Dubai, where they are paying the top of the topest dollar. 
Okay, now for a lot of you that don't know, when you go to Dubai, the average income is above 150,000. So what we think is money in America, it's like you're poor as fuck if you make $90,000 in Dubai. So the princes that are all living there, they have money to blow. They have $500,000 for a bitch that wouldn't in her life be able to see $100,000 in 24 months. So let's think about this. Being a woman, all you have to do is get in shape, post a little ass pictures, and you know for sure it is gonna be a nasty Dubai man or a nasty Nigerian okay because in Nigeria they be getting it in too so when you see all these women all over the country uh uh just from posting an ass pic hey man hey woman don't feel bad <laughs> don't feel bad thinking man why do they get to take all these trips hey would you like to eat some fecal matter we heard Michael Jackson talk about some shit like this and he didn't seem very fond of it and Jackson says there was more. One time I asked to use the restroom. And they said, sure, it's right around the corner there. Once I went in the restroom, they locked me in there for like 45 minutes. There was doo-doo feces thrown all over the walls, the floor, the ceiling, and it stunk so bad. And one of the policemen came by the window and he made a sarcastic remark. He said, "Smell? does it smell good enough for you in there? How do you like the smell? Is it good? And I just simply said, it's all right. Exactly. So this type of thing goes on everywhere. All these girls have the same type of look. Whether it's a fat ass or no ass, with a botched face, some Botox, some hair extensions, and an overly filled face full of makeup, you know why she's there. Don't get it twisted. She's about to take the cork out of that ass crack and go ahead and act like it's a McDonald's machine. And speaking of that, I'm about to watch this video and give you guys a reaction to this. But because of the YouTube censorship, I'm not going to be able to show the full video on here. But just from me looking at it and maybe the sound of it, you will get a natural reaction. And I'm doing you the justice of saving your eyeballs the torture. And by just looking at the screenshot that's over by my computer right now, uh, I know I'm probably about to have to pray to God over my eyeballs after this and maybe rinse them out with pure 100% alcohol. But I cannot see, I'm legally blind. I'm doing this so you don't have to. Let's get into this right now. Still shitting. <coughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. No, 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 no. No, we're not about to go for a second time. Ooh, let me take a little rest right now. Oh shit, I don't even want to say rest because that's reminding me of rest room. Okay, uh, what in the fuck? Fuck the internet after that nasty ass video. The shit that I just watched come out this man's ass came out like he had been holding it in all day and anytime he fart, that motherfucker was off the chain. He was waiting for this. He was waiting for this and I wasn't waiting for this and I don't even know why the hell I watched it. Number one just because i had to look at that it looked like this nigga ate a bottle of cheese whiz before he did this video and shat in this bitch's mouth now if i wouldn't have seen this actually come out of this man ass and into this woman's mouth bruh i wouldn't have believed it myself oh that was nasty than a motherfucker oh let me get my thoughts together
Uh, number two, I already said it looked like he swallowed a can of cheese whiz, and that's because this man's shit was yellow. I can't even believe I just said this. I just watched a man take a shit. Ooh, this man, what in the fuck was he eating over there? Solid gold bars of cheese crackers? I don't understand how in the fuck. Bruh, the shit wasn't brown, it was golden. That's how you know this nigga got some bread to throw around. He had a special meal for this bitch. Comment below if you a nasty ass man or woman in the comments. Please tell me how some shit can turn you on, literally. How this shit could turn you on. Okay, uh... Woo, this bitch need to have 10 million dollars after ingesting that much shit. Bruh, it was a face full of shit, like pow full of dookie on the face, okay? I don't even understand how this bitch was able to get through the rest of the day, but I'm sure, I'm sure, this is when you see the Instagram model in Dubai, you see her post some pictures, and then she go MIA for about 14 hours. Bitch had to get her mind correct after this, cause ain't no way in the hell, ain't no way. Ooh, this bitch need a tongue scrubber. Bitch need a new tongue. After she get her 100,000, man, and I'm saying 100,000, this shit was probably for about a good vacation. And you could tell just from the bitch upper chin area, uh, she didn't have no makeup on. So I, I guess he didn't want her as her Instagram self. He said, bitch, come all natural, cause I'm about to give you this natural ass right over your mouth. But I got a bunch of top secret information from nasty ass men like this and we're gonna go ahead and drop that so make sure you run up this video if you're new to this channel once again subscribe like this video turn on your notifications so you know every time some lit or disturbing or just some content period is dropping because you know here on justin's world i'ma give it to you not like that but i'ma give it to you till next time guys i'm out of here. I don't care that I ain't with niggas, they robbing kill. <laughs>